Okay, so you're ready to get your first handgun. Well, which one's right for you and which ones should you avoid? Well, it's really pretty simple. Let me go through a few things. Of course, we're talking about a handgun, which breaks down into either revolver or semi-automatic for your first gun. Depending on if you're talking about getting a gun for personal defense versus target shooting, that's going to determine caliber. We'll talk about that in a second. But my recommendation for everybody getting started is to get a 22 caliber handgun to start off with. And you can get that either in a semi-auto like this one or a revolver like this one. One of the benefits of the revolver is that it's pretty darn simple. You simply load ammunition into the cylinder here. You just drop it in, close the cylinder up, and then all you have to do is either shoot it directly this way or for target shooting you can cock the hammer and then pull the trigger. Really is pretty simple. I mean that's really all there is to the revolvers. Revolvers are really good choices for a first handgun. Now if you want to go with a semi-auto that works just fine. This is also a 22 caliber semi-automatic. Now the thing about 22s is there's very little recoil. Of course, you still always have to wear your eyes and ears, but the, uh, the recoil on this is very, very light, which allows you to work on trigger pull, follow through, all the basic things that you need to work on when you're learning to shoot a handgun. The other thing that's nice about 22 caliber ammo is it's very inexpensive. The 22 long rifle is pretty much the basic for everything, and you know, what you're going to find is even though you started with it, you'll go back to it often and the truth of it is either of these 22's is a lifetime purchase you will love having a good 22 pretty much throughout your shooting career now if you're trying to get a self-defense gun my suggestion to you is to get either a 9 millimeter semi-auto or a 38 special revolver now when you get a 38 special revolver you actually can buy a, a revolver that's chambered for the 357 magnum but you don't have to shoot 357 Magnum ammo in it. A lot of noise, a lot of recoil. You can shoot 38 Special ammo in a revolver Mark 357 Magnum, and that is perfectly okay. It's done all the time. For instance, this is a 357 Magnum revolver. Of course, you can shoot 38 Specials in it. The thing about revolvers is that they are delightfully simple. You simply put the cartridges in the chambers that are in the cylinder. You close up the cylinder, and you pull the trigger, and that's how it works. Pretty easy, pretty simple, and very effective if you're trying to find a self-defense handgun, but also a gun that you can shoot a lot and have a lot of fun with. Now, a lot of people are going to recommend, especially for you ladies, go get you a small snub nose 38. Bad idea. It's a great gun, and it has a lot of good uses, but it's not a good first handgun. The fact is, these are harder to shoot. They recoil more. The little short sighting radius makes it harder to hit your target with it. This is actually more of an expert's gun. So don't listen to a lot of the noise you hear in some of the gun stores or around the shooting ranges. Go with your own research. Speaking of research, when you go to a range, ask if they have guns to rent. Try out a number of different ones. Get a lesson with a shooting instructor and say, I want to try several different guns. It's a great way to find out which gun works for you. Now, if your interest is more in automatics, I would recommend a 9mm semi-automatic like this. There are a lot of them being made now, and a lot of them have uh, grips that actually work very well for small hands, for women and people with smaller, shorter fingers like I have. These 9mm don't kick a lot, but you do need, of course, instruction. With all of these, be sure you get good instruction. So a 9mm semi-auto is not a bad choice for a first handgun. Again, I really recommend that you get a 22 to start out with. Now, of course, we're going to talk just a second. You've got to have eye protection, got to have hearing protection, but you don't have to spend a lot for it. You know, good shooting glasses you can get for $10 or $15. You can even go with 25 or 50 cent pair of foam earplugs. They work just great. You know, every shooting range, every gun store has these. Or you get, even get them at hardware stores. So for your first handgun, do a little experimenting. Try a number of different ones before you buy. Consider getting yourself a 22 and absolutely get yourself instruction. And you're going to find that handgun shooting is really a lot of fun.